Welcome back to MTP Daily. Republicans now have control of the White House and both houses of Congress in Washington. But all the way on the other side of the country, the biggest state in the union, California, is as deeply blue as ever and could become the epicenter of what some Democrats call the resistance to President Trump's agenda. California Governor Jerry Brown gave a fiery state of the state address earlier this week, laying out the ways his state is prepared to fight against a, the Trump White House. We will defend everybody, every man, woman, and child who's come here for a better life and has contributed to the well-being of our state. I intend to join with other governors and senators and with you to do everything we can to protect the health care of our people. We can't fall back and give in to the climate deniers. The science is clear. The danger is real. Just before delivering that speech, Governor Brown swore in the man who will be in charge of leading California's legal fight against the Trump administration. It's former congressman and now attorney general for California, Javier Becerra. Mr. Attorney General, welcome to a show you've been on plenty of times. Great to be with you, Jim. Nice to see you. I, uh, I, I take it you're, you're here in Washington. Are you already ready to file a, a lawsuit against the Trump administration? <laughs> Doing business, but it's not uh, right, sending right. in a, a lawsuit. All right, let me start with a specific here, and that's this issue of sanctuary cities. We know a lot of mayors want to resist. There has been some chatter that the state, that, that California essentially wants to codify itself as a sanctuary state. Explain what that would mean. Well, California is essentially saying that we want to make sure that we're not mistreating people who are in our state, who are working hard, who depend on our public safety or general welfare provisions. Uh, and so we're going to continue to do what we've done. We've already got legislation, laws in our books that say that our local law enforcement authorities will do everything they can to prevent crime, take dangerous people off the streets, but we're not going to go out there and do the bidding of the federal government when it violates people's constitutional rights. What is this line? And I get uh, in, in that. So what, what some in the, in the Trump administration, frankly, some, some Republicans will argue is that, OK, but there's a that, that it's gone too far. That they understand the argument that says, OK, this is not about show me your papers, show me your papers and searching for people that might have broken the law. But, but so what is you know, what is is there something that actually cities could be a little tougher on? Well, see, it used to be that that was the problem. The federal government was asking states right. and local uh, law enforcement to do exactly what you said they don't do. And that was what caused the problems is that you had a whole bunch of communities in California that no longer wanted to cooperate with the police or sheriff when it came to investigating crime in the neighborhoods because they were afraid that in the process of becoming witnesses, they'd also become subject to deportation. But take the issue, look, San Francisco is a specific issue and it's a specific case. Sure. Did they do too little? Is that a case where law enforcement did mess up? There, I think it was a lack of communication, but it wasn't an issue of trying to harbor people who really should be in the hands of law enforcement and maybe in deportation proceedings. And right, let me change subjects. Uh, what would be your standing to sue the Trump administration on, on, on issues of climate change? What's a specific that you think you might have standing on? Uh, there are any number of causes of action that could be raised for any of the things that Donald Trump has talked about. Uh, what they exactly would be depends on what he tries to do. Uh, we have moved forward with the blessing of the federal government pretty far forward on a number of items. Uh, we relied on the representations of the federal government to take actions. We're not pulling back. We're going to continue to go forward. We have the right under the Constitution of the United States to provide for the general welfare of our people. But at the end of the day, are you going to sue the Trump administration because they're not doing some things, or do you, do you have to have something that California wants to do and the, and, and the federal government won't let them, and that has to be your standing, whatever it is? What, what's that line there in between sort of political lawsuit to, okay, this prevents California from doing what it wants to do? First, I... I I didn't take this office so I could just sue people. Right. Uh, I, I took this office so I could tr protect people. And we're going to do everything we need to do to protect Californians. Uh, and that includes a lawsuit. But a lawsuit is like what the federal government has the power to do when it comes to war. You should really not be looking to, as the first cause of, uh, or the first action you take to file a lawsuit. You right. should be doing everything you can to resolve things short of. But if you have to, you'll do what you need to. And if we have to go to court because the federal government is trying to intrude mm -hmm. on the business of California, we'll do what we need to do. It, let me ask something. I mean, is there something that right now we've got the issue of Mexico and right now it's going to, I think, create a lot of problems between U.S. and Mexico relations, government to government relations. Obviously, Mexican relations are very important to the state of California, trade uh, and cultural and otherwise. Uh, is there any way that the state of California would try to take action to prevent certain policies from going forward when it comes to Mexico? 
if they intrude on the rights of the state and the people in California, absolutely. Would uh, building a wall that would that intrude, or is that something the federal government, they, it, there's nothing California can do about preventing a, a wall from being built in the state of California? No, that's not true. That's not true. Is there a way you think you can stop the wall from being built in California? Depending on what they try to do, absolutely. Uh, you cannot uh, force people to have a wall built on their own property. Mm -hmm. You cannot force uh, a state to accept something that has not passed the, the muster of the, our, our current uh, statutes that require whether it's environmental standards to be met or standards of public safety to be met. Uh, and so there are any number of uh, hurdles that any administration in, in Washington, D.C. would have to uh, jump before they can build a, a medi medieval wall which probably will never work. Is it safe to say that you're looking at whatever ways necessary there is to find some legal standing to, to slow or stop this wall from being built? I will find whatever ways to do what I have to do. It doesn't have to mean it only it includes ways within a court of justice. Uh, and fortunately for us, in a court of justice, alternative facts have no standing. Mm -hmm. The only thing that counts is the truth. And so I think we'll be able to show that uh, the truth matters if we end up having to go to court. How much of your time do you think is going to be spent in combating the Trump administration in your time in office? As much as the Trump administration tries to come at California, we've got, we're going in a certain direction. We didn't become the sixth economic power in the world by sh just sitting back. We're doing things. We're creating jobs. We're providing safety and opportunities for our people. We've got some of the greatest industries and uh, 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 sectors of uh, em employment in the, in the nation. We're going to move forward, and we're going to do what makes us a strong con uh, state, mm -hmm. sixth economic power in the world. So if they want to get in our way, we'll do what we have to do to just keep moving forward. And if the Trump administration essentially sign, uh, asks you to at least conduct an investigation into allegations of voter fraud, would you do that? I think we're ready to do that because uh, we have said before countless times that uh, we have a system with a great deal of integrity and we want to track down any voter fraud. We'd like uh, the president to show us some evidence that there has been voter fraud. I mean, he's making all sorts of allegations. As I said, alternative facts don't count in a court of law. Maybe they, they count when you're doing a press interview, but we need to have facts. And uh, if he wants us to do investigations, he's got to give us the underlying premise for that investigation. What facts does he have that there was uh, some kind of cheating going on in our voting system. All right. Javier Becerra, I will leave it there. The new Attorney General of California, I have a feeling you're going to become a familiar face to uh, many people in the Trump administration as well. So be it. Should be interesting. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Safe travels back to California. Thanks. Hey there, I'm Chris Hayes from MSNBC. Thanks for watching MSNBC on YouTube. If you want to keep up to date with the videos we're putting out, you can click subscribe just below me or click over on this list to see lots of other great videos.